Now the Toshiba Thrive is what I would consider to be of the Android Honeycomb tablets with NVIDIA Tiger 2 technology, sort of a very PC approach to it. So instead of going with the elegance over functionality approach of something like an aluminum back, which looks great, but it's kind of heavy, it's not very durable, it scratches, it looks grungy after a while. It looks great when it's new, but after that it doesn't. The Thrive takes a very practical approach to things that I'll get more into as I proceed with the unboxing. So why don't we have a look at the overall spec? It comes with 16 gigs of storage, and it is sure as heck not a hard drive. That is solid state storage. You better believe that. They didn't ship until Android 3.1 was available. So they kind of took the, uh, we're not going to ship it until it's perfect approach to the Thrive, and that's what they say. So, you know, hey, uh, why? Why disagree until I've actually tried, tried the device itself? All right, it has a 10.1 inch multi-touch LED backlit screen. That's cool. Two megapixel webcam and five megapixel camera. All right, gyroscope sensor, so do they all. Full size USB 2.0 port. There you go, bam. So that is part of what feels very PC about the Thrive to me is that they've gone with like, they've, they've okay, honestly, you can't put a full size USB port on this because it's too thin. So Toshiba has, compromise that elegance in order to give you that functionality. So that's what I mean. All right, full size SD card slot. Bam, once again, full size SD card slot. So that means you can take the 16 gig, you can throw in a big old fat SD card. So unlike something like the transformer where you have to plug it into the, the add-on keyboard and carry that around with you in order to have a full size slot, you can just throw a full size SD card in here. And you, I mean, and, and you can carry around a USB key, which plenty of people carry around USB keys. You can carry pretty much as much storage as you want for the Thrive. Okay, next. HDMI port, bam, HDMI port. So it has all the ports, it has all that functionality. And we haven't even gotten to what I would consider the most um, user-friendly thing about the Thrive. Easy grip back cover, stereo speakers, good to know, box contents. They don't even say it. Unreal, it's not even on the box. It has a user replaceable battery. I know, right? What other tablet is going to give you the option to actually keep using it a couple years down the road when your battery, battery life inevitably starts being terrible? You can actually replace it on this guy. Go figure, right? Okay, so let's keep going here. Quick start guide for the Thrive. We got uh, the locations of a bunch of stuff, some system indicator lights, where all the ports are, home screen information, basic setup stuff, cool, how to back up your data. This is all good stuff to know. We have tablet accessories, so you can get a bunch of different color back screens. That's really nice. That's uh, functional, customizable. You know, now you can tell, you know, little Johnny's Thrive from little Sally's Thrive if you have a couple of different tablets in the house, which more and more people are starting to get into. Actually, it's got a few other... Um, first party accessories here, cases, the Portfolio 360 case, some power options, Toshiba Lithium Ion Battery Pack replacement or additional battery for the Toshiba tablet. So cool, right? It's only 89 bucks. So you can actually carry an extra battery with you if you're on a long flight. Like imagine having that option for your iPad. Let's say they don't have a charger on there. What are you going to do? I mean, you can carry around those little things, but those don't last that long, those little external chargers. So you can actually carry additional batteries. The first thing I do when I get a new camera is I buy extra battery for it because I know I'm going to need it. Very convenient. Information for your tablet device. Cool. One year standard limited warranty for tablet device. Hey, check this out. It comes with $10 of music downloads from eMusic. Neat. Oh my goodness, look at all this documentation. Okay, enjoy four free eBooks. Cool. We've made the app world revolve around you. Toshiba App Place is the smart way to find the apps you need. So they've got their own little custom app market and how to use it. Cool. Ooh, Thrive stickers. And finally, the thing it all came in. All right, let's see what else we got down here. Lots and lots of stuff included with the Thrive. More stuff. Dump out all the stuff. Okay. First we have an AC power cord. Then we have an AC to DC adapter. So there's your charger. It's a little on the big side, okay. And then finally we have a USB to mini USB cable. So that's uh, presumably for data transfer. So the Thrive, once again, it stays away from that, that Apple-esque type approach, which is create a custom proprietary connector. No. The Thrive instead uses a standard DC power adapter, 
which you could argue that this is less elegant, of course it is, but it has that functionality. You can replace this very, very easily. Whereas if you're running around the office and you're like, oh, oh, my, my iPhone's out of battery. Does anyone have an iPhone cable? And nobody has one, you, you're screwed. You have to go buy one for like 20 bucks or whatever they cost from the Mac store. Okay, and then for data transfer, standard USB cable, which means if you lose your Galaxy Tab 10.1 custom dock connector and you need to transfer some data, you don't have to do it wirelessly. You can still sync things. You just grab another USB cable, which inevitably you have like, you know, 20 of them at home if you're anything like me and you've got about 20 of them at home. All right. Now, let's have a look at all of the stuff that is labeled on the convenient screen protector that is included. They even label where to peel it, check that out. So stereo speakers, you've got one. You know what, let's, let's get this off. Okay, give me a second, this is gonna take me a bit. So I left on the front screen cover because it's kind of convenient to have all this stuff labeled for me. So the stereo speakers down here at the bottom, I'm just gonna show you where those are. That's a good location. So the Galaxy Tab 10.1 has the speakers here and here, which is also fine because when you're watching movies, you're gonna watch them like this. So if you have the speakers anywhere around here or at the back here, like the stupid iPad, which has its speaker there, just like the stupidest place in the world, it's not even stereo, uh, then you cover it up and you can't even hear your movie. So that's, that's like ridiculous, right? So the stereo speakers on the bottom is a pretty good place for them. I'm, I'm, I'm on board with that. Docking connector at the bottom. So oh, apparently it does have a dock connector, you just don't have to use it. Neat, okay. And then you've got a little plastic cover, so you can just cover that right up if you don't want to use it. Great. You've also got the AC power port right there, along with your headphone and microphone port. So that's one of those combo ones. All right, next you've got a cover here, which comes off like that. You've got a full-size USB, a full-size HDMI, full-size HDMI. I know, right? And then you've also got a mini USB. All right, so let's cover that back up. There we go. Up here, full-size SD card slot. Okay, up here, screen rotation lock. That's actually a really good button to have. I do use that button. This is the only Android 3.1 uh, tablet that I've seen. I shouldn't say 3.1. I mean, who knows what Android they'll be using a year from now when someone watches this video. But the only Honeycomb uh, tablet that I've seen that has that screen rotation lock. I do use it on the iPad too, so I find that a useful thing to have. Volume adjust, other than being, oh, I guess it's not really backwards. Okay, so here, here's a hint. Unlike most of the Android tablets that I've looked at so far, this is sort of meant to be used in portrait mode like the iPad too. So you look at the orientation of the buttons. So this is volume up, this is volume down. Whereas on some of the more landscape oriented ones, they would have a volume up, volume down orientation, which would be which would be different. So here it's backwards if you're using it in landscape. It's up, down when you hold it like that, okay? So just something to bear in mind. Also on the, on the I guess, on the right-hand side of the tablet, since I should hold it the way it's meant to be used, we've got our power button. And then finally we have a, oh, back cover lock. Oh, so this takes off the uh, back cover, I guess, somehow. Are there like two locks for it or something? Because remember, it is, uh, it is replaceable. So you can, uh, you can put on a different color or whatever the case may be if you want. You know what, I'll figure something, I'll figure that out later. So uh, again, in line with the portrait orientation being the intended usage model, the Toshiba logo on the back is in portrait mode. So you're holding it like this, it's right side up. Also the camera is, the five megapixel camera is here. And then the two megapixel camera is here along with the microphone input. So let's go ahead and pull this off. You know what, let's do a bit of a form factor comparison. Give me a sec, guys. So for comparison's sakes, I have the Zoom Transformer TF-101, iPad 2, and the Galaxy Tab 10.1 here. So I want you to actually get, get down to their level here. And you can clearly see that the Thrive is the thickest tablet on the table. So it is thicker than even the Transformer and the Zoom, and significantly thicker. Actually, I should take the iPad 2 and the Galaxy Tab 10.1 and put those out in the front, significantly thicker than those. So that is a bit of a disadvantage in terms of the form factor, so it, it is thick. It isn't unreasonably heavy though. Like it doesn't feel more heavy to wield than something like the Zoom, 
Although it definitely doesn't even begin to approach something like the Galaxy Tab 10.1 in terms of the lightness. So it comes down to what has really been the focus of this unboxing for me, which is the functional, the form versus functionality argument. Do you want that full size USB, the full size HDMI and that full size SD card built right into the tablet? Or do you want that style? 